Now, he's been my patient for years. I see him whenever his travel allows for it. Dr. Barker, what kind of issues was he dealing with? Did he ever exhibit signs of paranoia? No. The occasional bout of depression, which then led to low self-esteem, which led to binge eating. And... An eating problem. He wouldn't know what to look at him. Oh, his diet was horrible. Oh, scraps from the garbage, dead birds, even his own feces. We're not talking about Francisco here, are we? Oh, you thought I was Francisco's therapist? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, no. My patient is royal. Well, I am a canine therapist. <laughs> pretty crazy for me to treat people. People? <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> uh, Dr. Burke, <laughs> Mrs. Barker, how did Francisco seem to you at Royal's last appointment? Now, actually, he canceled it. Did he say why? Just that something had come up and he had to be somewhere in a hurry. Okay, that's actually helpful. Well, well um, thank you. We'll contact you if we need anything further. How is Royal doing? Is it true that he was at the crime scene, that he witnessed the murder? We think so, yes. There may be things he saw, things he's trying to communicate about the crime. If you let me see him, I can try to find out what he knows. You know, Francisco had a lot of faith in her. It might be worth a few minutes. Of your time? Sure. Okay. Yes, that's right. I know. Oh. I know you are. Oh, the poor thing is just traumatized. How was he when you found him? Uh, they said that he was pawing at the ground. Uh, the man from Sunfire said that was a sign of bereavement. Royal, Royal, look at what I'm doing. That's right. I, I know it is. He was trying to tell you something, something important. Really, you can tell all that from... Royal, look at me. I know, I know you're hurt, you're confused. You're dealing with abandonment issues. Uh, oh, there's a lot to break through here. This could take some time. Tell me, did Francisco ever observe you during your sessions? No, he waited outside, why? No reason. 